Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that I'm about to show you right now is a massive loss for the left for the gun controllers in Maine. Now understand, this is so much bigger than just Maine because I'm about to show you, in my opinion, how the left is running out of juice and energy around gun control around certain areas and this is the beginning we're going to walk through this entire thing but i'm telling you we are holding the line across the board in a majority of places and delivering victories i'm going to show you what just happened because red flag laws just failed in a big bloody nose for the left everything's going to be linked right down there in the description box below i can't wait to hear what you guys think and of course make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on if you want to keep pushing forward with our gun rights to the next generation and this content is brought to you by the biggest giveaway i've ever been a part of on this channel vanish holsters say a quick word about it and then we're gonna get back to this i've got to tell you about the biggest giveaway i've ever done on this channel Vanished Holsters is giving away an $80,000 custom Rocky Ridge Silverado for free to one lucky American who buys one of their holsters or t-shirts through June 3rd. Now this is not your everyday range holster. This is the holster that eliminates the excuse not to carry every day because of comfort. In fact, there's a money back guarantee based around that comfort level. It fits 99% of semi-automatic handguns on the market, can hold two magazines, and is completely versatile in where you actually strap this bad boy up. It has a no stink material, it's completely adjustable, and it fits up to 48 to 68 inch waist. And in order to have this opportunity to get the truck, all you have to do is enter to win in the link below for 50 bucks off your order as well, and you get a chance for this truck. So check it out right down there in the description box. All right, beautiful people, listen to me. This is a really big deal. The way that this works, the gun rights fight, the gun control fight, we've been in this fight together for years now, every day, two to times a day minimum. I'm telling you, when the left is losing fights that are in purple to purplish, bluish states around some of their main key objectives, when they have full control of the state legislature, that means something. They just lost red flags in Maine after a mass shooting that happened in October of last year. This is a really big deal, guys, because they could not land this plane when they poured all their energy into it. I've been watching very tightly on it, okay? Now look at what they've done on a national scale. Zoom out for a second, and then I'm going to show you how they failed. Nationally, everything that they've been able to do has been through executive fiat through the Biden administration utilizing the executive bureaucracies. ATF, pistol brace rules, redefining gun dealer, everything that they've done has been done through the executive pulling of levers. It has not been through banning things through Congress like they promised they would when they first took power under the Biden administration. That's the first thing. And they're getting a lot of losses handed to them in the courts as it works its way through. The other thing here is the advancement of gun control, like assault weapons bans and mag bans and red flag laws and all the different approaches to attack the Second Amendment are happening in deep blue bastions. They are solidifying. They are not expanding. And that's where this ties in because Maine, what I'm about to show you, is not a deep blue bastion. It's actually resisted gun control in the past, but they have all three levers of power. They have the governorship and they have both chambers and they couldn't get red flag laws. The crown jewel from Mom's Man Action, Giffords.org, everyone. Okay, check this out. Sweeping gun legislation approved by Maine lawmakers after deadliest shooting in state history. Now they're gonna couch this as a massive victory, but listen to what they just did. In Augusta, Maine, the Maine legislature approved sweeping gun safety legislation, including background checks on private gun sales, which isn't good, waiting periods for gun purchases and criminalizing gun sales to prohibit people from before adjourning Thursday morning, nearly six months before or after the shooting. Those are not good things, but listen to what they actually ended up getting, because this is where it's very, very important to read between the lines here. The governor will sign her bill, approved early Thursday, that's so that happened this morning, that would strengthen the state's yellow flag law. Strengthen the yellow flag law, not red flag laws. They, they straight up Heisman the red flag laws, okay? That's a big part of this. Boost background checks for private sales of guns. Don't love that. And make it a crime to recklessly sell a gun to someone who is prohibited from having guns. That one just mirrors federal law. The bill also funds violence prevention initiatives and opens a mental health crisis receiving center in Lewiston. So genuinely, really all they got in this was strengthening the yellow flag law, which is completely different than a red flag law, 
and boost background checks for private sales of guns. That's really what they got out of this entire thing. The left was aiming high on this. In fact, here's two other things that the governor is deciding whether to pass, and then I'll show you how this is a big loss. The governor will review two other bills narrowly approved by the Senate on Wednesday to establish a 72-hour waiting period for gun purchases and a ban on bump stocks. I would count bump stocks going away. I mean, they're doing that all over the place. However, 72-hour waiting period, that's an up in the air. That would be a loss. But let's focus on what the whole point of this video is, the red flag law. The difference between red flag laws and yellow flag laws is red flag laws, anybody and their brother can report you. Yellow flag laws require police and medical. So it requires two different people to help basically adjudicate you. That's, that's essentially what you're talking about. The difference is the gun controllers wanted red flag laws to go full ham for anyone in the, in the country or anyone in the citizenry to report you for having your guns take, or basically report you for something that you haven't done, which your guns will be taken without you being able to face your accuser. No due process whatsoever. I really don't like red flag laws. But understand, they got Heisman. They said, nope. That ain't happening. In fact, the yellow flag laws currently differ from reds by putting police in the lead of the process, which critics say is too complicated. It should be complicated because it's dealing with a constitutional right. Now, this is what the Republicans said, which seemed to have a translate into a victory. Check this out. A sick person did a sick thing on that day, and the legislature and politicians are trying to capitalize on that to get their agendas passed, said Dyer, who contends law-abiding gun owners are the ones who would get hurt by the proposals, while criminals ignore them. The state already had a yellow flag law, but law enforcement officials didn't use it to prevent the tragedy, he added. And I think that's something that you're going to see a lot. His feelings echoed the view of Republicans who accused Democrats of using the tragedy to play on people's emotions to pass contentious bills. They did, at the behest of Moms Man Action, Every Time for Gun Safety, uh, Giffords.org. All these gun control groups poured into Maine in order to do this. They flooded the legislature. I'm telling you, they, they were pushing hard on this red flag law because they wanted that red flag law. They didn't get it. Now, they might get waiting periods. That's not good. They might get um, the, bump, the ban on the bump stocks. Also not good. Background, universal background checks, not ideal. But my point here is the red flag law, which is the crown jewel that they were pushing for, fell through. They're losing the juice that they used to believe that they had. They are running low on the energy in order to deliver these things in purple states outside of the deep blue bastions. That's what we're talking about here because they had everything going for them to get this. All right, check this out. My big concern here is that we're moving forward with gun legislation that has always been on the agenda. Now, we're using the tragedy in Lewiston to force it through when there's nothing new here, said Republican Senator Lisa Keem. It's the same old ideas that were rejected year after year, and that's where we're going to tie all of this together. It's not good of what they got. Don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted. However, what they were aiming for, they fell so short of with all the energy, all the time, all the momentum, all the protests, all the um, activists, everything did not get the crown jewel of the red flag laws. They stuck with yellow flag laws in a blue state or a purple state that has a blue governor and blue chambers. The reason that I'm doing this video is not to celebrate they got this or they didn't get this. That's a piece of it. What I'm really trying to tie this back to is understand nationally on a whole view of zooming out, you are making progress and holding them at bay and winning in certain areas. There is progress to be made. There is progress to celebrate. There's also some things to lament that we lost. But understand, they just took a black eye and they're trying to dress it up as we made sweeping changes when they really didn't make the sweeping changes that they're telling you they did. And that's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.